Hey YouTube, Tim Unkert from HTML Tim here. In this video, I'm going to show you a couple cool Python packages that you can use with the Pulsar text editor. Now, I work as a high school math teacher and I teach web development as well, but sometimes I want to use Python and Ruby to quickly generate worksheets for my students. For instance, if I wanted to generate a, a Mad Minutes type worksheet, um, I could do that with Python or Ruby. In fact, here is a little program I wrote um, basically to generate 100 um, Mad Minutes problems. Right? So we have you know, a function to create the problems. We have this for loop here that runs through 100 times and it creates two random numbers. I've imported random here. And then it just writes to a file. This, uh, in this example, I'm using test.html. And it's appending to the file and then closing here. And if you look at test.html, it's got a bunch of divs with uh, problems where students would have to add numbers here. Um, if I open it, you typically what I do is I'll, uh, not there, I will go and, you know, create this HTML file, and I'll do a little styling with CSS, so I might have them span across the screen here. And then I'll go to print it, and I'll save it as PDF, and I'll turn off like the headers and footers here so they don't have anything down here. So we get you know some worksheets with problems, right? And I do that from HTML. It's maybe a weird way to do it, but it's the way I do it. So you know I want to be able to use Python and Ruby um, in the editor I'm using so that I can, you know, depending on my mood, pick one and quickly generate the problems. Uh, so anyways, um, I started looking at Pulsar and seeing what could I do to maybe make it a little bit more friendly with some Python linting and so on and so forth. So for instance, uh, in Python around the function, typically you want two spaces here. That's the formatting style. So if I were to backspace here, um, you notice I'm starting to get this linting here and it says expected two blank lines found one. Okay. So yeah, so um, what I'll do now is I'll just space and the linting will go away, okay? So I have a few packages that do that. And then, you know, let's, let's get rid of this uh, test file here. Let's just delete it, okay? So I'm going to delete that file. Now I have this. Now if I wanted to build it right from the editor, well, I can do that. I can just... Uh, go here and just do control A to highlight the entire file. And then if I do uh, control T, I get the shortcut to build it with Python. So I'm just gonna hit enter and it's gonna go ahead and it, look at that, it built the file, all right? So we've got the file built. And I did that with a couple packages as well. So let's take a look at some of the packages I'm using. By the way, the theme here that I'm using is the native UI with the Notepad++ theme. I'm feeling like a light mood today. If you, I have a video on that on my channel if you want to check it out. Okay, so let's open my settings here and we'll go to packages. And we'll take a look at what packages I have. Okay, so I have this build Python package here. That's the one that allowed me to, to highlight the stuff I wanted to build, do control alt T as a shortcut, and then select Python to build it. It installs this dependium dependency called buildium. And so that's how I build it, these two packages here, build Python and buildium, okay? Um, you see busy signal, that is, that and intentions are stuff I need for linter and the linter UI. And then I have this linter flake eight, okay? To get that to work, you have to install um, flake eight. And to install flake eight, you know, I'd open up a terminal here and I would just simply type sudo apt install uh, pip3 or sudo, sorry, not sudo apt, sudo pip3 install flake8 and run that, okay? And let me make that a little bit larger for you so you can see that. Okay, so I would go ahead and run that and install flake8. And that goes with that package. You also have to install the linter package here, which is a base linter with cow powers. So install that, and then that installs the linter UI default. I also have this Python AutoPep 8, so it formats a code using AutoPep 8. Um, to do that, 
you do need auto pep 8 installed so if i went here i would type sudo pip3 install auto pep 8 like so and run that and install that package so yeah this is working pretty good i'm still looking at st stuff for auto completion in python so that's still not quite there yet uh, i was trying some stuff with jedi but um, that's not quite working yet but this is what i have for my python setup so far in pulsar if you have any suggestions on how to get it a little bit better uh, please leave them in, co in the comments below and hopefully this video will help you if it does give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel thanks for watching